طيب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. This video is just a review of this chapter 3 which is talking about the system of matrices. So mainly we have three things. Um, which is linear systems, Gauss elimination. And then we have the inverse of a matrix and then the determinant. Okay. So what we mean by a linear, what, what we mean by, by a linear system? What is the linear system? Yeah. If you look at this equation, this is a linear equation, linear equation. Okay. In two variables, X and Y. Look at this equation. Is also a linear equation in three variables, x, y, and z. Okay. Notice that all, all variables are of power one. What we mean a linear system, it's, it's a system where I have more than one equation, or let me say one equation. I mean, we have, we have many equations. Like in this case, we have two equations and two unknowns, or two variables. So this is a system of equations. We don't have only one equation, we have system of equations. Two equations, three equations, four equations, who cares? Okay. In general, how to solve such linear systems? There are many ways to do it. Mainly we'll concentrate about two ways, elimination method and Gauss elimination method. By the way, they are almost the same, but Gauss elimination method, they're using Matrices. Okay. So for the elimination method, we need to talk about what's called elementary operations to solve system of linear equations. What are, if I have an equation, what are the things which I can do will not affect the system? If, look at this system, for example. Look at this system. If I multiply the first equation by a number, that will not change the system. It will be the same system. And I assume I multiply the first equation by three. So that will be three X plus nine Y equal 27. And the other equation is the same. Two X plus Y equal eight. That will not affect the system. It's the same system. It's the same, nothing, nothing will be changed. So that this, this operation will not change the, the system. Now let me, Think about another operation. Assume that I make the first equation the second, and the second equation, I, I interchange these two equations. So if I have two this, 2x plus y equals 8, this one equation, and x plus 3y equals 9, this is another equation. This system has, is, is the same as this system. Nothing is, no, no, no difference. So this is what, what they mean by interchange two equations. That will not affect the, the operation on, on solving the system. What, are, what else? We have the third one, which is a little bit tricky one. And this is true. We can prove it for you, but it's not, in this video, I will not do it in this video actually, but this is this is you need to take it as as a, uh, as a true uh, operation. If I multiply the first equation by a constant, because we need this, this is very important. This one, this operation is very important to understand. I multiply the first equation by a number and add it to the second equation. For example, if you look at this thing, I assume I multiply the first equation by two. Mm -hmm. I have the first equation will be the same. So the first equation will not be changed. Okay. I multiply it by two and add it to the second equation. Multiply two by x, I have two. Add it to the second, add it to this two x, so it will be four x. Multiply the second one, which is 3y, by 2, by the same value, 2. I'm going to add it to the next one, 
six seven y equal multiply two times nine that will be what eighteen plus a that will be twenty six this system is the same as this system exactly they are the same but that will not help that will not help what will help if I do the same idea, but they want this value to be zero. They want this value to be zero. How to do that? I'll multiply the first equation Yeah. I multiply the first equation, multiply equation one by minus two and add it to equation two. This is one, this is two. Yeah, that will make a big difference. Why? Because if I do this, x plus three y equal nine, that will not be, will not change. Multiply by minus two here and add it to this one. Minus two x plus two x, that will be what? Zero plus, multiply by minus two and add. That will be minus 6y plus y. So that will be minus 5y equals to what? Multiply by minus 2, minus 18 plus 8, minus 10. Look what happened to in the second equation. I have no x, only y. And that's the most important. So I try to multiply by the negative of this is if this coefficient is 1. If this coefficient is 1, multiply by negative of this. So when I add it, I cancel x. So this equation, we are done with the, with the solution. Now this one, I can deal with it. So this is now the system. So this is now the system. OK. This system also, if I multiply or divide, multiply by minus one minus one over five in equation two. Multiply, you know, since the first problem, I'm trying to explain it. Multiply equation two by minus one over five to get what? So we have this system, x plus 3y equal 9. Here I have y equals 2. I get y. Done. So if y equal 2, back substitution, In equation one, I have what? X plus three times two is y equal to equals nine. So X is equal to what? X equal nine minus six, which is three. So the answer solution x equals 3, y equals 2. What's good about these system of equations, I can check it. Substitute in the, first, in the first equation, substitute x 3 and y be 2. So you have 3 plus 6 equals 9, correct. Second equation, 2 times 3, 6 plus 2, that is 8. So this is the solution. So I need mainly these three elementary 
operations to solve systems of linear equations. And by the way, these three operations will be the same when when I solve it as using the Gaussian elimination when I transfer it into into equations. Okay, look at this one. Yeah. I want to make usually I want to make the coefficient the second equation to be to be zero. Okay. But to make this, I need to multiply by minus multiply, let me call one, and this is two. I multiply, it means I need to multiply minus half by one and add it to two, which is a little bit odd since I multiply by, 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 by a fraction. You can do this, it's okay. Or instead of doing this, I can do another trick. Yeah, what is that? I can eliminate y. Now, by the way, this method, they call it elimination method. Why they call it elimination method? Because I eliminate one of the variables to get the second variable. Okay. One of the, one of the tricks I can do, I multiply by two, the first equation, and add to the second equation, I get rid of, of y. So I can find x, then back substitution to find y. Or, I can interchange these two equations so that we have same procedure. So I will make the coefficient of x to be one. I, I move two to be one. The, I mean, I lose this, this procedure, interchange two equations. So I'll make equation two, equation one, and equation one, equation two. So I have x plus two y equals zero. And I have two x minus y equals five. Now I can use the same tricks like what we did here. So so this is will be number one. And this is equation two. So I'm a, I I think of it as a system. This means I have two equations. Okay. So I can um, Multiply minus two times one and add it to the second equation. Let us see what will happen. What will be the system? The first one will be the same. There is no change in, in the first equation. Look, I'm doing it in details so that we understand it. Okay, I mean easily. But there are minus two, minus two x plus two x. This is zero. done minus two times two y, that will be minus four y, so that will be minus five y. Minus two times zero is zero equals to five. Now, I multiply minus one over five times two. To get what? That will be the system. That give me the system. This is x plus 2y equals 0. And this is will be what? y equal minus 1. If y equal minus 1, plug it here. You get what? x x minus 2 is equal to 0. So I have x equals to 2. So solution x equal 2 and y equal minus 1, which is also I can check. Substitute 4 minus minus 1, which is 4 plus 1, that is 5. And two minus two is zero, which is correct. Another one. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. In this case, I cannot 
Can I get rid of? No, both both coefficients are not one. So I will use I will use the I will multiply by 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 a fraction. So multiply the first equation to make this zero. I will multiply the first equation by minus three over two. One, and I add it to the second equation. Let us see what will happen. So I have what this one will not change. Two x plus six y equals four. Multiply by minus three over two times two is minus three x plus three x that will be zero. Minus eighteen over two, which is minus nine y plus nine y that will be also zero. Hmm. Minus twelve over 2 minus 6 plus 5 plus 11 that will be 5. look at this i have something impossible 0 equal 5 which is impossible to be correct so right away it means this system has no solution it has no solution because I'm getting something wrong. Can it be true? Zero is equal to five. Another one. Look at this one. Hmm. I cannot get rid of, to get rid of the same idea. So multiply the first equation by minus three over two, multiply it by the first equation and add it to the second equation. To get what? Minus three plus three. Um, first, the first equation will be the same. Well, there is no change in the first equation. Okay. Multiply by minus three and add it. That will be zero. Minus three over two, I mean. So it's minus three x plus three x. Minus 18, which is minus 9 plus 9, that will be 0 also. And this is minus 12 over 2, minus 6 plus 6, and that will be 0. So this equation becomes what? Nothing. 0 equals 0, which is always true. It means this system, I have only one equation. I have only this. These two equations are the same. I have only this one. If you look at this one, I can divide by two to get what? To get x plus three y equal to two. Or I can say x equals two minus three y. Okay, so what are my solutions then? My solutions is I have I have how many solutions? We have infinitely many solutions. Because if I put y a value, I'm getting x. So if I write y equals zero, what will be x? X is two. This is one solution. If I write y equal one, what will be x? Minus one. So y y is, is independent variable. Why? I mean, I can write y any value. I can write y any value. It depends if you write it uh, x in terms of y or y in terms of x. And x will be, I mean, depending on y. But to, so how many solutions we have? We have infinitely many solutions. Okay, so if I put my value, I'm getting X. So how many? Infinitely many solutions. So how to write my solutions? My solutions, if I want to make it as X and Y, then that will be 2 
minus 3y. And if you make y in terms of x, then you do it the other way. And, and y is any value. And this is for any real value y. If we are doing the system in, 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 in real values, okay? Real value y. Or any real value y. You put y1, you get a, a solution. You get y10, you get a solution. You put y100, you get another solution, and so on. So you have infinitely many solutions. Infinitely many solutions. Okay. And by the way, I can use a trick to solve the system. If you look at this one, one trick to do is if I divide by two, to avoid the fraction, huh? to avoid the fraction. If you divide, divide by two, what you will get? You will get x plus 3y equals two. And then you have the other system. Now we can solve it to avoid the fraction. Multiply by minus three and add. You will get the same answer. Okay. If I have, so that means what? That means if you have system, any linear system, the solution to a linear system, we have three possibilities. Exactly one solution, x and y are just fixed values, or no solution, no way, these two equations satisfy each other, or they have infinitely many solutions. These are the only three possibilities for any system, any linear system. And we did that for the two by two, or, or for two equations in two unknowns. Assume I have three equations, three unknowns. What will be my procedure? And this is what I will do as examples. Okay. So what will be my procedure to solve such system? I will do the same thing. I will make this one. I will try to make this zero and this zero. Okay, this is one class. I'm going to do the same, the same trick to make this one zero and to make this one zero. Then for the next one, I will, I will, I will, then, then, then we'll continue. Okay, let us do it. I have this system I want to make. So this is equation one, this one, equation two, this one, equation three. Okay, so I multiply the first equation by minus two and add it to the second equation. Okay. Let us see the system. The first equation, no change. Multiply by minus two and add it minus two x plus two x, that is zero, gone, minus 10 y, plus y, that will be minus 9y, minus 2z, huh? minus 2z, yeah, minus 2z, yeah, I'm going to have minus 2 and add, minus, so it will be minus 4z, equals two then we have minus two minus three okay now for the third equation apply the first equation by minus one and add it to the third equation to get what minus x plus x zero minus five y plus two seven y that will be two y minus z plus 2z, that will be plus z, okay, minus 2 plus 3 is equal to 1, okay. Now I need to deal with these two equations, because I have now two equations with two unknowns. Uh, one way to do it, if you think about it, I can interchange the third with the second. So I have this system. 
this will not change because I need one. Huh? I need one. It will be easier to avoid the fractions or you can deal with it with the fractions like what I showed you before. But it's better to make it one. Two. This is minus. No. Yeah, and that will not help, huh? Because this will be for Z, huh? Not for Y. You just need to do it for 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 Y. You can do it for 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 Z. Yeah. So I have two Y plus Z equals one. I have minus 9y minus 4z equals minus 3. I interchange equation 1, equation 2, interchanged with equation 3. Okay. Actually, I did this here. Two. Interchange with three. Now, I multiply the th second equation by four and add it to the third equation. To get what? To get now, this one will not change. Okay, multiply the second equation by four. This was second equation will not to change. Multiply by four and add that will be minus y. Four z minus four z gone. 4 minus 3, that will be 1. So I'm getting y here. So y will be equal to minus 1. Take it here. So I have minus 2 plus z is equal to 1. So that means z equals 3. Take both here. You're getting what? X minus five plus three equals two. So that means X equal four. So what is the solution? X equal four. y equals minus 1 and z equals 3. Can check. Substitute here, I have 4 minus 5 minus 1 plus 3, 2. 8 minus 1, 7 minus 6, 1. 4 minus 7 minus 3 plus 6, that is 3. Yeah, let me stop the recording. Yeah, then I will continue. I don't want to have a long video. Let me stop the recording. It's not okay. Thank you.